And that's a really a good question. And I'm, I, I've jotted, when I read that question initially, I jotted down some, some things so I could remember uh, as, we, as we discuss this. There have been much professional development, professional learning on part of the teachers in preparation for this moment. This has taken place over the past couple of years. It, not that we knew that we were going to be in this venue at this time, but we, our teachers have had training in, in the Google uh, uh, application that we use to deliver the lessons. Our teachers have had uh, training in, in Learn Zillion, which is a, a, a reading program, our, and, and it's uh, delivered virtually. Our teachers have had, had training in, in Great Minds Science, where that uh, uh, the methods of teaching science and all of our, all of our grades have been taught to them in a virtual sense. Uh, there is another uh, in biology, the bi called Biology Hub in, in, in high school. Uh, teachers have a good bit of training along those lines, especially biology teachers uh, in mathematics here in high school, jump math in the middle grade, jump math. Uh, we've had training our, our, in algebra, uh, springboard math. Uh, we've had our students, uh, our teachers in small groups with the principals and other people in the last two months that are working toward preparing themselves to do this, uh, these presentations. The AB schedule, I mean the, uh, the, the, the teacher and uh, the school, uh, teachers are working together now to complete a survey, calling parents, uh, asking parents what their general plan at this juncture is, and so forth and so on. So a, a lot of activity is going on right now just to make sure that we can find out exactly what the plans that the teacher, that the parents have for their students and assuring that the, to, for our teachers, assuring the parents that we're prepared to, to educate in that sense. Also, in the next uh, short while, next couple of days, parents will be, will be receiving what we call a J-call. It's an automated call to all parents saying, this is where we are, this is the, the juncture, and this is what will happen next, and what you, this is what you should do, and so forth and so on. So, we, not that we've got everything down pat, but we put forth a lot of effort to get ready to uh, uh, start this of virtual learning yes. with our kids. Jody, I can assure you that we will stump our toes a bunch. Mm -hmm. And I can assure you that because it's a new venture for educators across the state of Louisiana, we will make a lot of errors. Mm -hmm. And I, I have said several times with all of us working together, in this together, we'll be able to solve any, I think we'll be able to solve most or any problems that come our way. But uh, we don't have all the answers, but we're gonna work diligently to find the answers when we discover where there's an issue. And uh, it, it's, it's actually, to be honest with you, it's an opportunity for all of us to do something that's completely different than it's ever been done before. I can't help but to remember, reminded that last spring when we in Wynn Parish had graduation exercises on the outside, out of doors. Uh, and I made a comment or two at a couple graduations that history is really being made and whenever you get to be I was telling these seniors when you get to be an older person have grandkids or great grandkids you can say we made history in Wynn Parish we've had outdoor graduations during the COVID days yes <laughs> your grandchildren probably ask what is a COVID you know but anyhow yes. it's yeah. times are different and sometimes in the distance future someone's going to look at on these pioneer days of the educators and the parents of this day 2020 this year 2020 and say you know that was uh that was in the pioneer days that was new territory yes. for everybody. Yes. <clears throat> but it's a good opportunity yes, for us to educate our children it is. <clears throat> we're excited about it.